Hello everyone. Thank you for taking the time to join us on this webinar titled Sales Enablement where we are going to see different ways to sell effectively. My name is Arun and I am from the customer success team of Zoho. Today we are going to see what exactly a sales enablement is and how it is going to help you with your day-to-day -day sales operations to close deals more efficiently. Let us also discuss on some of the business use cases followed by a quick demo towards the end of this webinar. So have you tried baking a cake? If you have, does it turn out the same way always? It's definitely a big no. You might get it right two times or maybe three times in a row, but fail the fourth time. This is even if you have followed the same process. It is because the other variables matter. The ingredients used, the cooking tools, the time of the day, the weather, the people who have helped you, and the list continues. It does look like there are indeed a lot of other variables that play a huge role. The same is with your sales team. One might be a great salesperson, but there are other variables that impact in closing deals. The tools that you use play a major role. The right tools make it more favorable in closing deals, and sales enablement is providing your sales team with the right tools to sell more effectively. Now, what is sales enablement? It is to provide your sales team all that will help them in engaging with the customers, selling your products, and closing deals more effectively and quickly. Let us talk about some of the common challenges that are faced by the sales team. There are different platforms and different people from where your prospects will gain knowledge about your service or your product. And if each one is going to give a different message and use a different script, there is going to be a chaos. The website telling you something is possible and the sales rep telling them it's not is going to bring a negative impression. The same happens when there is a difference in the facts shared by two different salespeople from a single company. There should be consistency. The messages across all your platforms and people should always be in sync. That is going to play a big role in how customers see your company. It is told that the salespeople spend less than 36% of their time for sales. Why is that? What eats their time? It's nothing but the administrative tasks such as inputting all the customer data into the system, doing other redundant tasks like drafting similar emails, answering similar questions, and generating reports. This reduces the time spent on more challenging work related to the sales. When all these activities are taken proper care, the salespeople will get more time to concentrate on the actual selling. Without a standardized process, the salespeople might get lost at times on what they should be doing next. It might bring down the entire team's productivity as he now needs to be clarified on his next steps and this has to be taken care by another office team member. So it is vital to have a properly guided process in place to make the sales process efficient. More importantly, it allows the salespeople to concentrate on the deals that they are working. Asking the right question and providing prospects the relevant information helps in closing deals. Any disturbance here breaks the connection between the salesperson and the prospects. So when in a call 
or when responding to emails or any time when sales people are in touch with the customers they should be provided with all the contextual information they should know all details about the customer they are in touch with for the customer will not really be willing to provide the same details in too many places and so it should be ready with relevant sales collateral that would best fit the customer's requirement they should also be in a position to continue the conversation with the customer from where it had ended previously to put it short all relevant information about the customer should be available in front of the sales person think about using your traditional mailbox it just adds the emails that you receive on top of another it neither lets you know the important ones that need your immediate attention nor does it give any sales contextual information an organized inbox is a must for succeeding in sales it lets you stay on top of the deals that matter the most unlike the traditional ones that does not prioritize your emails when in sales you know how important it is to have your sales documents and so missing a single piece of information when doing an update can change a million things a small delay in providing them when your customers ask for could turn things the wrong way now these documents could be customer case studies white papers and ebooks product demo decks pricing and discount information competitive intelligent briefs and so on having all these documents organized updated and readily available when interacting with customers will sure to get some brownie points it is said that about 78% of the customers buy from the first responder and when you respond within the first 1 hour you are more likely to engage with the prospects better so there is no chance for wasting any time be available right no matter when or what medium is an unwritten rule for better engagement and that is possible only with real time notifications what are the few things that will help you fix the problems that we just have discussed it could be making sure that the information stays the same across all the different locations having a well thought standardized sales process in place a collaborative space where all the documents are maintained and updated from time to time and essentially a way to be notified of the happening with your customers in real time fashion now the solution that we propose to all those complicated problems is the sales enablement this is to bring your sales people up to speed with all the information that they would ever require to help them strike a perfect sales pitch and it is all the time with the sales enablement functionalities in zoho crm you can have different types of documents for different purposes stored in a single place be able to build a highly sophisticated sales process be able to define what information are to be collected based on certain deciding inputs have an organized and informative email inbox right within your crm and also have the ability to see what has happened to the recent activities that you would have done and other integrations on a single day you may need to take a look at different documents as you may be dealing with a lot of deals in different stages with zoho you have a dedicated module called as documents where you can upload all the needed documents organize them into different folders and share with other users or a specific group of users now it is no longer necessary to search for the file download and view it as you can do all those things without having to go out of your zoho crm 
Customer information is the most important in sales, but letting salespeople spend a huge amount of time filling in customer information does not sound like a good way. Wizards can break these long forms and collect contextual information at various stages from salespeople and ultimately make it less tiresome. You can even notify someone with an email when a specific step on this data collection process gets completed. Leakages in sales happen when a streamlined process would not have been established. Why would the sales team look outside if everything that they need to do and follow is clearly outlined in a sequential manner? This not only makes it easier for the sales rep to work effectively, but also allows the management to be reassured that everyone is following the process in the defined way. These blueprints lock the drop-down field and show the agents only the possible stages that they can transition to. Certain actions can be mandated with each of the transition so that only when the required information is captured, they would be able to complete the transition. We can also define other actions like email notifications, field update, task creation that would be executed post completion of the transition. Now have your schedules on your fingertips. Know when you have events, meetings, and when your slots are free so that you can immediately schedule a call or a meeting when your customers want to meet with you. You can sync these events with the leads and customers inside your CRM for better context and easier speech. It does not stop there. You can know the schedule of each of your team member before deciding a time for your team meetings, as you can see how busy are your teammates right from the calendar view. You need to stay on top of the deals that are most likely to turn into revenue. A traditional email client won't help you do that. It wouldn't highlight the emails that need immediate attention. A traditional mailbox will not let you have your emails organized according to their priority. It just puts the most recent emails on top and not the most important ones. It has no such thing that would help salespeople with their daily routine. For that, a mailbox exclusively for sales is required. One that can organize the inbox to reflect the sales pipeline and sales priorities, and we call it sales inbox, which means an inbox specifically built for the sales. Sales inbox will prioritize and organize deals to reflect your sales pipeline and provide the contextual information that are required for better communication. No one likes waiting for a response. And in today's world, customers being the king don't wait for your responses. Any delay will only create opportunities to your competitors. With real-time notifications from sales signals, get back to your customers as soon as possible. The setting can even be customized to notify you on specific actions like email opens or email clicks so that you can now approach the customers with confidence as you know that they have read your message. Integrating CRM with other applications is now a breeze. It allows you to have more context to your data and better communication and collaboration. Zoho CRM can integrate with Zoho Finance Suite to help you automate invoice generation, view order statements, and check associated estimates and invoices right from within the CRM. With online meetings becoming the norm, integrating Zoho meetings with Zoho CRM allows you to quickly schedule virtual meetings 
by accessing your calendar and selecting an available time slot that works for you and send out invitations very easily. You can also set to be notified before the meeting time to make sure not to miss another scheduled appointment of yours. We know that some of you might be using Office 365. Now you can integrate your Zoho CRM information like the contacts, the task and scheduled meetings with your Office 365 to have the information synchronized back and forth. Let us now discuss how these functionalities can help not just the sales rep, but also for a role called the sales manager. So these are some of the responsibilities that a sales manager would have on a regular basis. He has to make sure that every one of his team member is able to find any needed document, make sure that the collected data is valid and correct, and analyze it for making strategic decisions. Wizards will help break down their data entry process and in providing the necessary templates and call scripts when required. It is a document library that allows in having all important documents shared with the team. You no longer need to wonder whether everyone would be available by a specific time to schedule a team meeting as you can check the schedule of all your team members in a single calendar view. When scheduling a meeting, if you want it to be of a virtual conference type, you can create the meeting as an online meeting using the Zoho meeting integration. You can even send invitations to the participants so that they can respond whether they are attending or not, and you can see the stats right from inside the meeting record on your Zoho CRM. Now let us see how the work of a sales rep is on a typical day. He has to see if any of his emails have been responded, and if yes, he probably may have to schedule a meeting with that prospect or a customer and send a reply email with some necessary documents. Sales Inbox will let them have an organized sales contextual inbox. Sales Signals will notify you in real time and help in reaching out to customers immediately. When the access provided to the documents module, finding and sharing the required sales document should no longer be a tedious task. Have your schedule right in front of you before you schedule your next meeting. Let us now take an inside look of an actual Zoho CRM account where we can see how effective these sales enablement features are when used in real time. So this is how an actual Zoho CRM account is going to look like. You can get here by going to crm.zoho.com, which will take you to the home page. Now the first feature that we are going to look at is the wizard. Let us try creating a new lead inside the CRM. And to create a new lead, click on the plus button on the top and select the new lead. Now from here, I am going to click on one of the wizards that I have created for my business process. So as you can see, earlier it was showing you with all the list of fields that are inside the leads module, but now that I have selected wizard, I would only be required to fill out the necessary information at the initial stage. So let's type some information here and I'm going to hit the next button so that it is going to take me to the next set of information that I would need to fill. Once all the informations are filled out, I can again click on next so that it then takes me to another set of fields that I can complete and finally click on save for it to become a new lead. So this is how Wizard can break the entire process of data collection into smaller segments of fields so that your sales rep will not feel the burden of filling out all the fields in a single moment. Now to configure this kind of wizard, you would have to go to the settings of your Zoho CRM, which is by clicking on the wrench icon on the top right. And then under customization, you have the option called as wizard. Click on that, and this is a place where you would be creating a new wizard. 
Now remember that you can create wizards for all the modules of your Zoho CRM. Now let me show you how exactly the wizard is built out for the example that we just have used a little earlier. I'm going to click on the leads module and with the wizard name leads, as you can see, I have three sets of information that I have broken the entire list of fields into. If I would click on one of these information block, then I could see what are all the different fields that the sales agent needs to fill out at a specific instance. And you can also add or delete additional fields right from the section. So I hope that you would have now got a good idea about the wizard. And so let us now talk about blueprints. As we have discussed during the webinar, blueprints is a way to enforce a certain process inside your business. Now, typically, let's say that you are creating a deal for one of the potential customer of yours. And so you might be having a pipeline like this. But if you notice, the sales agent can freely change the stage from one stage to another. In order to prevent this, you can create a blueprint designated for a specific module inside the CRM so that instead of seeing the entire pipeline, he would just be seeing the list of possible options that the sales agent can transition to. You can also see the list of configurable actions so that the sales agent will always be understanding what exactly are the possible options for the deal is on a specific stage. In order to create a blueprint, you would again have to go to the settings and under the process management, you have the option called as blueprint. Click on that and you can create all the different types of blueprint inside the section. Now, when you'd be clicking on any one of the blueprint that has already been created, you can see how exactly the flow is defined. It can go from the search stage to the application stage, and then you can create an intermediate transition, which is the button, where you can define what should happen before the button is clicked, what should happen during the button is clicked, and what should happen after the transition is completed. So that is how you would be creating processes within your system and enforcing every single user to follow the same process that you are building. I hope that this blueprint feature would prove to be useful to help you streamline the process in your CRM. Now let's talk about the sales signal. Let's say that you are sending out an email to a customer a few days earlier and let's say that he has replied to one of your emails. You would immediately be notified under this bell icon that would show you what email it is and from which lead or prospect it is all about. It also allows you to create a new activity or a follow-up for the specific lead right from the section. You can also see which lead it is and what exactly is the information about the lead is by simply clicking on the lead information and it would take you to the lead page itself. I hope that the sales signal will also help you out to make sure that you are responding back to your customers as soon as the information is received. Now we have taken a look at the calendars inside CRM. Now, how do you reach the calendars inside CRM? You would have to click on the calendar icon that is right next to the email icon. And so you would now have to click on week. This would take you to the schedule of your entire week. As you can see, you can also create a new event or a meeting right from the section. Now, if you want to see how exactly is the schedule for another user inside your organization, simply change the view from my meetings and calls to all users meetings and calls so that you can see how the schedule of each and every other user is for the entire week. Now this calendar will help you to make sure that you plan ahead in time and make sure that everybody is available for a specific timing to create a team meeting. Now finally, let's talk about sales inbox. As we discussed, Sales Inbox is an inbox specifically designed for sales. Now to go to Sales Inbox, all you need to do is find the module called as Sales Inbox and then click on it. 
Remember that you would have to complete the email integration inside the CRM to be able to access the sales inbox. You would immediately be getting to this section where you can see all the emails that are on your mail server categorized into different columns. So if it is an email that has come from one of the leader or contact, it would be available under the contacts and leads. Or if it is from a new email address that is not stored anywhere inside your CRM, you will be finding that under not in CRM. Now let's say that you're reading one of the email from a new email address. And let's say that you want to create that email address as a lead or a contact. You can simply click on the email, read it, and then on to your right, you can simply click on the lead or a contact button to be able to create the information as a lead itself. Now, just in case if you are looking at one of the existing lead or contact, and based on the email, if you want to schedule an appointment, you can simply create a new meeting type right from inside the meetings record. Just click on the meeting and select the type of activity that you want to have. So this would allow you to create a meeting right from inside the sales inbox view, and you don't even have to go to your calendar separately to see if you can schedule a meeting for this record. I hope this demo would have brought clarity and might have even provoked you with ideas to use for your business processes. So try using these out and see the change that it brings on your sales team. Let us now discuss on some of the questions that are frequently asked by a lot of customers. So question number one is, can I create a lead from an email categorized as not in CRM? Yes, Sales Inbox allows you to create a new lead or a contact directly when viewing the email. It also gives you the option to create an activity or a follow-up meeting right from inside the record that you're seeing inside the sales inbox. Can we have multiple blueprints for a single module? So this is one of the most common questions that are asked by a lot of customers. Yes, we can create multiple blueprints, but you would have to remember that only one blueprint can be active at a single instance. Another question is, how to block my calendar when I would take a day off? Well, you can simply mark yourself as unavailable by getting to calendar view and then click on a spot where you want to mark yourself as unavailable and then click on the option that says, mark myself as unavailable. This would block a specific time frame so that you would be given a notification in case if you're trying to create a meeting on the timing that you have marked yourself as unavailable. Another question is, can I add a file stored in documents to an email? Well, yes, you completely can pull a document that is stored inside the documents module and have it attached right when you're drafting an email before you send it out to your customer. If you would have any other questions related to any of the functionalities of Zoho CRM, feel free to email us at support at zohocrm.com and our support team would be glad to have your queries addressed. Thank you again for taking the time to listen to this webinar. My name is Arun. Keep exploring Zoho CRM and I look forward to presenting another interesting topic very soon to all of you. Thank you.